Psychology. Good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, Anivin, and uh, uh, I am on the air now. Come again, please, sir. All right. Uh, hello, I am on the air now. Yes, yes, you yes, are. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, uh, good morning, doctor. Good morning, uh, doctor. Uh, uh, we we have, uh, I mean, to our knowledge, you are attending uh, that gathering uh, in Luxor. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, before anything, I have to thank uh, Dr. Uh, Nadia Zakhari and Dr. Hussein Khalid and Dr. Imad Ismail who were able uh, to uh, put together uh, this gathering uh, of uh, uh, experts uh, from Egypt who are now uh, all over the world, especially United States and Europe, and uh, to gather together with uh, the local Egyptian experts here. And what a great idea. The, the idea was to uh, uh, just share our expertise in the United States and Europe uh, with the local expertise with uh, Egypt and uh, uh, try to close the gap and uh, uh, adapt some kind of uh, uh, system uh, similar to what we use in the United States without direct copying, but actually adapting uh, some policies that uh, fulfill the needs of Egypt. But uh, most important is uh, to fulfill the international standards of the international regulatory authorities uh, so we can gain the recognition and the acceptance of the international uh, societies. And it was uh, absolutely a successful uh, conference. Dr. Aziz, if you could kindly explain to us what are you specialized at in, exactly in that particular field? Yeah, okay. Uh, I am. Uh, uh, one of the world uh, specialists uh, in uh, diagnosis of uh, cancers and the cancer uh, research. Mm. And uh, 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 as uh, many uh, of the uh, few now know that uh, the advances in uh, uh, diagnosis now uh, is moving now a long way. Uh, mm. And for example, the most a recent applied diagnosis and treatment now uh, uh, are uh, actually relying on identifying abnormalities in the genes. Mm. And we are moving now from diagnosis of diseases, say we have lung cancer, with starting to refer to it by the name of the genetic abnormality that we are able to identify and the pharmaceutical companies are able to manufacture drugs specific uh, to this. So the, the, the most recent advances now in treatment of cancer is not uh, the traditional way, but it is uh, finding out the abnormalities in the genes and developing a medicine that can tackle the abnormalities in the genes. Mm -hmm. So, sir, uh, is there a preventive way, uh, as, uh, as you've just mentioned, uh, finding the ab abnormalities in the genes? Uh, is there a preventive way, I mean, to avoid uh, developing cancer? Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is a very uh, good question. And uh, with Dr. Uh, Nadia Zahari and the rest of the groups, uh, in fact, uh, the, the conference is very clever because uh, uh, the conference invited experts in all fields, like, for example, my field is the cancer diagnosis and treatment. Others are in the epidemiology and the preventive medicine and so on. It was a chance that we all gather, and the group of uh, epidemiology uh, provided the recommendation about the best policies and the most advances research that uh, we are doing in the States and in Europe uh, to provide a specific uh, plans for uh, prevention of uh, many of cancers uh, based on our uh, most uh, recent research in the United States and in Europe. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Aziz, uh, one of the Egyptian expatriates in the field of pathology. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Thank you, sir. And uh, going back to Your Excellency, um, we were talking about this specialization like Dr. Mohammed Aziz and his many likes.